So Tim, if you've got a site um, where you have a bigger throughput and perhaps this model is a bit um, labour intensive and you want to produce your clean dishes quicker, then you can move on to a pass-through hood machine. Same features as the front loader, so we've got the same control panel. Again, a counterbalanced door um, that doesn't just shoot itself up and spray water everywhere. Um, inside here, again, the features of easy to clean, easy to use. So we have, again, a one-piece pressed stainless steel tank. We have the indented wash jets and a separate rinse arm. Again, we're going to get the same build-up of grease under there, so they need to be easy to remove. Sure. And with this, I just hold on to the wash arm, simply unscrew this. That lifts off. I can't lose it because it's attached. Yep. That's my rinse arm. And then I can simply lift off my wash arm. And again, there's the indented jets. And then here you see that the tank is pressed in such a way that it slopes towards the front of the machine to Excellent. the operator. And then you've got two filter pans which cover the whole wash tank. These lift off so you've got then access to your wash tank. And this is a deep drawn tank that only holds 11 litres right, okay. of fresh water. So a small, so small volume for a Small volume. A um, and every time it washes uh, a cycle, it uses 2.7 litres of fresh water. Okay. Another feature on this, which not many people uh, appreciate is this is designed for a straight through operation so yep. I'm going to come in and I'm going to come out the same way whereas if your customer a couple of years down the line says now I want to put my machine in the corner and move it around we have here just four screws that you undo and then pre-drilled holes on this side and this side right. so they simply move the rack guide bar and then it can become a corner operated machine another feature on here is there is a micro switch fitted to the handle. You probably won't hear it at the show, but um, once I've set my cycle and then I'm doing my sorting of dishes, I don't have to keep bending down here to press the cycle. I can simply come up to the machine, push the handle down, and then the machine will go through its wash, pause, and rinse cycle oh, fine. itself. So it's literally operated the start and start, well, the, the start as you were is, is yeah. operated from the handle rather than, as you said, needing to hit the uh, start button. That's right. Another great feature, which you can't uh, really see, is this has a soft start program. This wash arm will start like the blades of a helicopter, right, and then pick up, and then that way it doesn't lift the plastic out. It also has a leak detecting mat at the bottom. It will soak the mat and then send a signal to the machine to say, hold on, we've got a problem here, we've got a leak, and it'll give you an error code to say that. Oh, right, so you're not going to get, as I said, a, a dangerous soaking wet floor. No and then you can phone our service department, give us that error code, and we'll know that it's probably a rinse booster pump or something that's, uh, one of the seals has gone, it can be replaced simply. This machine uh, leaves the factory as a three-phase machine. It can be adapted on site to a single phase. Um, when you do that, you will get lesser throughput. Um, however, it can be done on site, and it comes as standard with a rinse booster pump, drain pump, and detergent dosing pumps. Fantastic. Okay, Pete, appreciate the run-through on that. That's You're fantastic. Welcome. Thanks very Thank much. You.